After completing the steps that I showed in the video, definitely, your PC will boom. Someone asked me to show the FPS results, after some tweaks and this video I will show you the FPS difference before and after optimizing Windows 10. So this is my GTA 5 Gamma Play before the tweak. So this is GTA V and I'm getting around this much FPS, so I will increase the FPS using some advanced level of tweaks, the video will be interesting, so make sure you like this video, and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. The game is laggy, feel unsatisfied playing with this FPS. But I have a medium end PC so if you support me by subscribing and liking the video, I will show you more videos on a low end PC, without screen recording, hope you complete 100 likes. Because in screen recording the 20% of FPS gets down. Maybe for me because of my processor bottlenecks. Ok, here are the FPS shown, let's have some optimizing techniques. These steps we're gonna do, even I will show you how you can increase the internet speed. Because in online games, imagine your game like Valorant, CSGO, or Fortnite runs perfectly after these tweaks, but what about your internet connection? If the internet connection is bad how you going to play any online games on your computer or laptop? So to fix this issue, I'm going to show some tips about optimizing internet connection also, even if you want an internet connection tips for your computer, you can just comment below I will make another video for that. But for now, we will be talking about optimizing the Windows 10 for the performance in games, and for using Chrome. The first step is optimizing the drives, but before you do anything you should back up your system restore point, so if there is a problem with your PC and you need to restore it, any changes you have made will go back to default. In case you don't know how to make a system restore, the first step in the part 1 video is to create a system restore point. You take system restore, this will restore the system settings that you have now. So to do this go to the start and type system restore, or you can type this create system restore. After this, a box will open, here you need to select local disk C, make sure that you're selecting C drive. And click on OK and now click on create and rename it as your wish, so I'll rename as GTA 5, so just click on OK, to create a restore point for your windows. And so now the restore point was successfully created, so we can close this box and close everything over here. Go to start and type this PC, select this one, the window will open, right click on local disk C, make sure to select C drive, in order to optimize other drives too. Right click and select properties, and now in tab select tools now select check button to check if there's problem in your PC drives. Click on scan drive to scan your drive. It may take around 10 seconds. For me there's no errors in drive, so I'm gonna close this up and select this optimize button below. Here it called optimizing drives, it will display all the drives you have in your PC. Select one driver and click on optimize to optimize your drive. Repeat the same step for all, like I'm doing over here, wait till it gets done. It may take around 2 minutes to complete the process. After you get like this in all drives you can close this window. Now step 1 is completed. Step 2 is to enable storage sense in Windows settings. Don't leave this video after hearing this one, because most of them know about this storage sense, but still, you watch this video what I do. Click on start, go to settings, and click system. Storage. Enable the storage sense. Select Run Storage Sense and click every day, depends on you when it should clear your trash files on your PC automatically by your windows. And also select this delete temporary files if it is not used. Select one day, for me every day the temp files should get cleared. Because I don't like windows making a collection of trash files like we have a dustbin in our home, and the garbage vehicle comes and collects it every week or day. Like that in your windows select every day like one day option here to clear junk trash files in your windows every day. You can click the clean now button to clean junk now itself. 
and also you can clean over here, as I told you about this method in part 1 video. Give one minute attention to this guy, my buddy who want to make an e-commerce website on fashion and cloth. He wanted to sell t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies in designs. So if you like to have an amazing GTA Minecraft Valorant XGO design gaming fashion cloth for you? Then comment down below to open the store online as soon as possible. Please cooperate with us in making this store for you at cheap rates. The t-shirt price may have $5. In shop only for India till now, if you want international shipping, check the description and click on the e-commerce gaming fashion cloth store link and answer the query. So we will be making it as soon as possible. Thanks for this attention. Let's go back to the video. The second step is done. Now let's go third one, here we're gonna make the internet connection faster. To do that, go to Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start button and selecting Device Manager. You can also search the Device Manager at the start. Here select Network Adapters. In the Network Adapters you have to select the Internet adapter you're currently using it. I'm using Ethernet, guys trust me, Ethernet is the best way to have full potential connectivity of your Internet. It will help in reducing the high ping. Here I'm gonna show you optimizing the Ethernet for its full max speed. I'm not using Wi-Fi adapter so I'm disabling it, ok. Now let me show the ping before what I have, according to UCLA speed test, we have a 4 milliseconds ping here. Let's optimize it. Select Ethernet adapter, right click, properties, advance and max full speed here, whatever I do watch them carefully. Disable the power management, it's because your ethernet will slow down to save power, so the internet connection also becomes slow. So the ping became less. And also the internet connection went 200 megabits per second, which is the actual plan I have. If you wanna know how it went from 90 Mbps to 200 Mbps, comment below I will show you video proof in another video. Let's move on to fourth step. It's easy, go to start, select settings, select system, click on power, and sleep. Here drag this one towards best performance. On the right side, select additional power mode. And click on high performance mode to activate the Windows high performance mode. Check here that all process is set to maximum. I will say, if you have a laptop, don't do this one step, it may drain the battery fast. Fifth. I see you, I see you.
true, so I'm going to show how you can disable animations. All of the stuff I'm doing over here. Here you how to check only those which I'm selecting, and you can click apply button to apply the settings and now you are done. All set. Let's check out their FPS game how it performs. Animations. I have told about this in all Windows optimization videos, if you disable animation the Windows will work faster than before.